Hey guys, today we are going to look at the spec binders. Uh, this is the low res spec binders, meaning they are not very pricey. And I'm gonna zoom out so you can actually see the binder. Oh, zooming in. Okay, so hopefully you can see the binder. And we're just gonna go over a little bit of what's happening here. So Urza's Bobble, still four or $5 card. I don't believe there's much of a price difference between the white one and the black border one. I assume black border one is more pricey. So let's talk about Mana Web. Mana Web, this card, I'm pretty sure is now very expensive. So we have free Mana Webs and we have seven Well of Knowledge. So that was a very, very good hit. Uh, now the Workhorse is not a good hit. I always assumed Workhorse would be very, very good, but it just has disappointed. This Arabian Nights card has gone up a lot. Ebony Horse has gone up a lot. Knowledge Vault has gone a t up a ton. The Ring is worth a lot. Workhorse is not. So you can kind of see the fail speculations in the ones that didn't fail. So you have Well of Knowledge. Again, this card has gone up in price quite a bit. Let's see, what do you have? I'll put the uh, mouse, mm, there's no mouse from Nexus is here. All right, it must be in the other one. Oh, and the Your Dragon is now more expensive. It's like about $10 now. So old cards definitely have done well in terms of prices. These have done well. Let's see, these promos always, uh, this art is, in my opinion, just absolutely gorgeous as a piece of artwork. Gleeful Sabotage, I mean, not flat Fast Bond. Okay, so I kind of should have got in more on Fast Bond because that would have been better. Fast Bond is going up a ton in price. Okay, uh, this on this side, you have the Arabian Nights Cyclone, which has gone up a lot in price as well. Mm, I don't know, this one has pretty much been steady. And that does it, I think that's it. That's it for this binder. Anyway, bye guys.